And howdy guys. So in the last video, we started to set up our user interface and updating our state within the actual settings component whenever somebody set up, whenever somebody actually clicked, right? So click post, click update post moderation, click comment moderation, and that runs functions. Good. Now we actually need to send that data back to the back end. But before we can actually go ahead and implement it, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about the actual architecture, okay? And this is the architecture across the entire admin app, the store admin app. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out about it. But this is kind of the way that it looks right now. Okay, let's say we have the settings component. A function is imported into that component and it's an HTTP action from the actions folder. Okay, so all the HTTP is always isolated to our actions folder, it just according to the feature, feature set. And that makes it a lot cleaner for us, right? That's imported into the settings component. And now what we want to do is that when somebody actually clicks uh, update the post moderation, it's going to send an HTTP request to our routes. The route says, hey, somebody wants to update their moderation request. Okay, do I have a controller function? Do I have a function for my controllers folder which actually does that? And that is the function that we are going to create. It's a function from the controllers folder. And we're going to import that into our routes file. And that's how these settings, the settings component and the routes file are going to be able to talk with one another. All right, guys. So that's how actually how our admin front end and our admin back end talk with one another. You can kind of think of it as the settings component and, and the routes kind of like being the bosses, the guys that are in charge. But their helpers are the are the are the functions from the folder um, from the actions folder and the functions from the controller folders. All right. So that's why all the and, and the, the controller uh, function, the function from the controller and the actions folder are pretty much uh, they're the ones that are actually doing most of the logic. But we don't want to take up too much space within the settings component and the routes components so we just import the functions into those files all right guys so that's kind of how it works you know what let's actually go ahead and look at this example within the actual code so i'm going to go into our desktop over here into sk and i'll illustrate this example exactly now with with the help of what we're looking at now all right so um let's look on the left side for a sec a second just look at the actual folder structure we have admin backend and admin front end. All right. So within our admin front end, we have a folder called actions. And that's got all the features set according to the right, all the files according to the feature set actions. All, and, um, and over here, we also have pages, which is the actual, um, uh, which is the actual components, settings, and index. Okay, fine. All right. It's just uh, React components, Next.js components, right? And uh, you can see over here within our index.js, the page, uh, right? We have const settings equals this function, right? Component is just something that takes some data, spits out something else, right? And we're importing three functions at the top from actions slash user. And it's importing a, f a, f a function now which says set moderation. That set moderation function, I believe, will be able to see it. Um, Let's see, over here we go into actions and then user. Okay, let's just look at it on the left side for a moment. And here's the set moderation function. It says, this is actually where the HTTP call is actually defined, right? So it says set moderation. Here's the API endpoint that we need to hit on the back end and so on. Uh, here's the settings that we want to get up, that we want to update. And finally, uh, and find and go uh, go go chat with the with the admin backend and uh, tell them that this is what the user wants to do, and fine. So that wraps up the admin front end. If we go into the admin backend, we see we have a controllers folder over here, and the controllers folder also um, is where all the logic is defined. But we also have within the admin backend a routes folder. Let's say routes uh, user. Okay. And this is pretty much where where that dialogue is caught when we when a user says router dot put user slash user. Uh, ooh, wait a second. Let me just make sure that we don't lose our update function there. Control. Control C. Okay. One sec, guys. Router dot put. Okay. User slash username slash update. When a person when a user presses save. 
it's going to run the update function. And when a user um, just wants to update the moderation, then it's going to run this function here. Okay, so you see, when somebody hits this API endpoint, run this function, which is the update function. And when somebody hits this API endpoint, which is update moderation, run update moderation function. Now, both the update moderation and update functions are going to be imported from our controller over here. Okay, so let's let's have a look at what that looks like over here. I'm just going to make this a little bit cleaner. Okay, so const settings page read pub. These are a bunch of functions that get imported from require controllers slash user. Okay, and then if we actually go into admin backend slash controllers. Here's the update moderation function that's getting imported. Here's the update function where it gets imported. And you see our routes folder, our routes file is incredibly clean and that makes it much easier to declog, declog any, any data, data clogs we may have along that, along that journey, along that communication. Admin backend slash controllers, we have the update moderation. Just to make sure that all the, the wiring is set up correctly, we're just gonna run this update moderation function just to test it, but um, this is kind of where we're at right now. So uh, this is kind of an important video to help you guys understand the architecture of how there's uh, communication between the admin front end and the admin back end. Thanks for tuning in. Again, the HTT all the HTTP functions are isolated into the actions folder and imported into our components. And the component talks with uh, uh, routes and the functions from the controller are then imported into our routes file. And that's how we're able to always, you know, create a very clean data pipeline between the admin front end and the admin back end. It's not too verbose where it doesn't need to be. And everything is isolated and it's always easy to uh, hopefully reason about it. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in and feel free to reach out if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.